what's going on big a coming at you with another video and super crooks has been on netflix for a short while now at least a few weeks and i find it really weird that nobody's talking about it like netflix and the algorithm the algorithm kind of pushes things to people to get it to get them to watch whatever it is that they want to watch but for some reason yeah i feel like the arcane like league of legends thing that's been pretty big people have enjoyed that i've not seen it myself i'm planning to see it it does look interesting but like yeah when it comes to super crooks they've just like not really been bothered by it you know what i mean they've not really pushed it out there which i find weird considering that netflix purchased the rights to miller world which is mark miller's uh well yeah comic book kind of imprint i guess or comic book company that do you know uh you got prodigy that's one of their comic books kick ass um the secret the magic order i always call it the secret order for some reason and um you know they uh also did like jupiter's legacy and that had one season and then stopped it's like is the same thing gonna happen with super crooks as well is that just gonna have one season of the anime and then stop was that the plan was there a plan to do more like what other mil like are they gonna do chrononauts like i don't know it's like are oh, netflix really invested in the, the miller world stuff because it's been a while now since they obviously purchased the rights to that to that stuff to adapt like live action stuff uh from those comic books well live action and over various like animated projects as well and i just don't feel like they are paying off what they intended to do so it's just kind of like why like I, I don't understand you what you wanted your own your own comic book thing that that was you know its own complete world essentially and you've got you know the mind of mark miller behind it yet you don't seem to be pushing it out to everyone you did with obviously jupiter's legacy um but or was it Jupiter's Circle? I forget which one comes first. And I forget what the show was called. Was it Jupiter's Legacy? Yeah, I'm going to stick with Legacy it was. You know, and that got its one season and then stopped. And then I've not heard anything about the live action adaptation of The Magic Order. Um, but I think that's coming at some point. But yeah, Super Crooks, man. It's got a cool like theme song, which sounds like it was sang by Prince in the, in the like, late 80s, early 90s. It's got some interesting characters in there. They have made quite a few changes to the point where I'm going, is my memory serving me correctly? Or has this show changed things and like changed it up actually for the for the better? Like the story flows in kind of like a different way. It actually takes a while for them to get into kind of like the main kind of hook of the show, which is this heist, which in the in the comics takes place in Europe. I'm not to the stage yet as to whether you find out as to whether it takes is taking place in Europe or not, but um, but yeah, it's it seems like a decent show, and I'm uh, I'm gonna watch the rest of the episodes. I think I'm on episode five, I want to say, or something like that. But yeah, give Super Crooks a chance. I think it deserves your attention. Um, it's not I'm not cause I'm not I've not seen the whole show, so I can't actually recommend it. But I definitely say like check out the first few episodes because there is some great action, some good animation in there some like decent enough characters like voice acting is decent enough as well so i don't know why netflix really didn't push it anyway let me know as to whether you've seen any of super crooks or whether you intend to whether you've read the uh, graphic novel and like the changes that have been made in the show as well um do all the things as always and i'll catch you on the next one